did you get so cold enough to show my bones? It feels like I don't know. so let's begin first what you want to do is you want to go into your browser and then just type in getpaint.net there's gonna be a link to it in the description below so you don't have to type it in yourself so once you're on the website press get it now and then go to download now and then free download now I already have the uh, program so I don't need it and then in the description below there's also gonna be a link to a bunch of plugins that you need to download and then there's going to be a video on how to download plugins um, into paint.net so then I suggest that you watch that and then once you've installed all the plugins and paint.net you can just open up paint.net uh, go to file new and then make sure like the width is like actually no it doesn't matter what your width and height is as long as the, as long as they're both the same I'm just gonna make my width a uh, thousand pixels and my height a thousand pixels um, they just have to be the same like I said and then once you've done that it should be like a square and the square should be white so uh, we're just gonna get rid of the white so go over to your magic wand tool right here hold shift and then just left click on the white and then press control X or you can press this little scissors scissor tool right here like that to cut it and then you should be left with the checkerboard after that uh, go to your text tool which is this T and then just uh, click anywhere and then uh, look for a font you want to use because uh, this is going to be your text uh, I'm going to use gang of three and then make sure your font is big enough so that you can look uh, read your name I'm just going to put Timmy Taco like that and then uh, center it oh yeah also make sure your text is white uh, you can do that by making your primary color white so then uh, yeah should look like this after that go over to your magic wand tool again uh, hold down control and then use your mouse and just left click on the bottom text uh, I split my text up into two sections so then uh, I'm gonna make the bottom part blue so then uh, hold control and then just left click on the text on the bottom like this and then um, for your second color just uh, find a color you want to use I'm just gonna do blue and then go to your uh, paint bucket tool like this and then just hold shift and just left click on the bottom text uh, the one where you just selected and then deselect it once you're done after that uh, just duplicate the layer like that and then go over to this move tool right here and then just move the layer down right now and then after that left click on the text and then just use your uh, down arrow key and just move the text down like that um, just move it down like a little bit alright once you're done just deselect it and then just go to adjustments hue slash saturation and then uh, make the lightness negative 50 like that and it should give it like a 3d look uh, after that go back to the top layer and just merge them both it so that it turns it into one layer uh, and then after that go to effects object and then drop shadow and then uh, make sure like the shadow color is black and then bring down the blur radius that's what I, that's what I like to do uh, but you can play around with this you can change like the offset X and stuff I'm just gonna leave them both at zero uh, I'm gonna make my widening radius like uh, 13 like that and then after that I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to effects photo and then glow um, I'm gonna make my brightness like uh, actually no, I'm just gonna leave it at the default settings like that I'm just gonna press ok um, after that we're gonna do our background so add a new layer and then move it down uh, after that go back to like your browser and stuff and just look for a wallpaper you want to use the wallpaper the wallpaper I used is um, it's this game called firewatch they've got some really nice wallpapers so I just used it for my uh, profile picture the one I used is this one it's like the third image so then I'm just gonna right click it and then copy image uh, go back into paint.net and then press Control V uh, with the bottom layer selected and then press keep canvas size um, you just want to zoom out if the image is like too big 
you can press like these buttons, the magnifying glasses to zoom in and out. And then uh, once you've zoomed out or something, um, go over to this corner, hold shift and then left click on the corner and just drag it like that. And then uh, I'm just going to reposition it so that the deer is right there. All right. And then just deselect it once you're done positioning it. After that, just add another new layer above your background. And then just uh, make sure your primary color is the color you selected for your text. And then just get the paint bucket tool and then left click on your image and then everything should be blue. And then go over here to layers and then properties. And then change the blending mode to something like overlay. And then just play with the settings. Um, you don't have to change the blending mode to overlay, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna make it like I'm just gonna make it like uh, 159 or something, and then press OK once I'm done. After that, add another new layer, and then um, there, I'm gonna be using something something called a light leak. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just lighting. Uh, I'm gonna leave a download to the light leaks in the description below, so you can, if you want to use it yourself. Um, you're happy to do so so uh, just press control C once you've opened up like the light leak go back to your uh, profile picture um, on your new layer just press control V and then keep canvas size again and then just uh, I'm just gonna put it in the corner right here and then if the if the image is too small hold shift and then drag the corner like that to make it bigger and then it should look like this I'm just going to deselect it and then after that I'm going to go to blending mode and then I'm going to do glow like that. I'm probably just going to lower the opacity a bit and then press ok. You just have to play with the settings again. So uh, after that I think I'm done. I'm just going to go back to my text, go to effects, object, align and then center both and then it just centers the text so that it's right in the middle. And then once you're done and you're like you're finished with everything, just go to File, Save As, and then just save it somewhere on your desktop. Um, make sure it's a PNG file, like where it's a Save As type. Make sure it's a PNG or a JPEG. I'm just gonna make it a PNG, and then I'm just gonna name it Profile. Oops, forgot Profile Picture. And then um, it should uh, lead you to this screen and just press OK if you're sure with it. And then just press flatten. And you're pretty much done. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, you're pretty much done. So uh, I'm sorry if I stuttered a lot in this video. Uh, I don't really know what to say about that. I don't know. Anyways though, if you enjoyed the video, you can drop a comment on uh, what type of tutorial videos you want me to make in the future. And I'll gladly do it. So uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.